This is going to be over a soldering uh, wire for a magnet magnetic actuators such as a Plantraco style wire. Um, just to give you a size reference here of what I'm working with. Um, this is a actual set of uh, micro pliers here. Um, for example, here's a toothpick. Um, the wire measures about uh, point or 0 0.04. Um, I believe it's a round 44 gauge wire. Um, it's a pain in the butt to solder without destroying. But uh, I'll show you how we got to do it here. So uh, let's get going. Okay, first I've got this one here soldered. Everything here is fine with it. Um, now we have this little wire I'm pulling into the frame now. Okay, this is a wire I'm going to have to solder onto the other connector here. So, even though these wires are this small, believe it or not, they actually have a coating over them. So the first thing I've got to do is remove that coating. I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that now. So there's our wire there. So, first thing I'm going to do is get the wire ready, which I'm going to go ahead and give it just a little bend up here with my finger. Try and get it to point up on me. Just make it a little bit easier. I'm going to do is get my soldering iron, which I have ground down the tip to. It's kind of a, a must on these. I'm um, going to go ahead and take a little bit of solder off of it. Alright, get this solder going here. Okay, and to strip the coating off of the wire, you just simply run the wire straight through the solder. Hopefully, you guys are seeing this. By doing that, that pushes the coating back on the wire and tends the wire at the same time. So there we go. Now we have a tinned wire and the coating has been pushed back. And just to show you what I'm working with here guys, is just a uh, two actuators here on a carbon fiber fr frame for a uh, Uberlite kit actually. So there's what I'm going to need to solder right there. So let's get this kind of spun around so we can see what we're working with here. Okay, here's the wire I need to solder. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do, get this in frame for you. Okay, I'm take a little bit more solder, just a touch. And I'm just going to go ahead and try my best to pretend this little area here. Alright, here we go. From here forward, we're silver on this wire. Um, from here back, we still have the copper color. So, that's going to be the part I'm going to be soldering on to the connector here. Very small connector. These are extremely small. These are tweezer pliers that I'm holding on to them with. So there we go. We've got our actuators hooked back up, and now we will have a rudder and elevator on this uh, Uber Light kit where one of my actuator wires was going bad, having problems with the uh, elevator connections. So that is how you solder um, 0 0.04 millimeter or 44 gauge wire. Um, basically to strip it, you put a ball of solder on the tip of your iron and run the wire through the solder. Um, what this does is strips it, it kind of rolls back like a sock the, uh, the uh, coating over the wire and uh, at the same time tins it. And then you go ahead and try and tin the tip you want to put it into. And once you've got that all done, then you are set up. So you can go ahead and give everything going. Try not to keep heat on anything very long or the other one will come loose on the other side just from the residual heat. So now that I've got that, what I'll do is I'll go ahead, back this out a little bit for you. As you can see my pliers here that I'm using, so I'll go ahead and let those go gently. Okay, so now we are ready. Get it up here a little bit. Let's see where my light's at. There we go. So now we are ready to go ahead and plug this one directly into this area right here. Okay, and this one right here, I re-ran the wires as you can see here along the very small carbon fiber back and it goes all the way back to right about here. 
And that is my actuator for the elevator for the uh, nano flight biplane and uh, high wing plane. So if you want to practice your soldering, guys, that is the way to do it right there. Um, solder wire, you know, thinner than hair. But uh, a little bit of practice and you'll get to where you can do it without a problem. So hope this helped. Thanks, guys.